Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back for another episode of Kirby Triple Deluxe, as we now tackle through episode number four of season eight. Recently in the last video, we just took on, of course, all the bosses in World 3, being Old Odyssey, in both Story Mode and DD Tour. Well, we're back again to now go through World 4 next, which is, of course, Wild World. Time to take a look at all the mini-bosses and bosses there, and see what they are in both modes of the game. So yeah, time to kick this episode off with a bang, and now go through World 4 next. So with that being said, let's take a look at all the mini-bosses and bosses found in the next world of the game, being of course Wild World. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, here we are in Wild World, World 4 of the game. Let's take a look at all the mini-bosses and bosses found in both Story Mode and in DDE Tour for this world. That being said and done, let's get into it. Okay, to begin this off, we're going to start our adventure by heading over to World 4-1. And this one is a mini-boss that we have actually met before, back in World 1, but is back for a rehatch. Yup, it's Hornhead again. It's been a minute since we last met this guy, but he's back again and ready for a rematch. But too bad I'm Kirby because I have the hammer ability, so this should not be any issues whatsoever. Oh, my boy, no! I luckily got rid of all the grass, so... Don't you that? Thank you! No, I'm not gonna get hit by that. Got my stuff. Ooh! Pretty slip with you, boy, eh? I see you! Oh, my boy, no! I got you hit by that. Got my stuff. Dodgy, not to give very much. Dodging all of that because I'm not about to get hit. Yeah, forehead's gone after this next attack. Yep, sure enough, gone. I thought that was not gonna get him, but look at what I got him. All right, take care of that. Onwards we go to our next mini boss. Okay, this next mini boss takes place in World Four Dash Two. And is another mini boss that we have already encountered before, back in one of the recent episodes, but is back again for a rematch. Yep, it's Grand Willy. It's been a minute since we last met this guy, but he's back again and ready for a rematch. But too bad I have the hammer ability because I know what I'm doing with it most of the time, so I shouldn't have any issues with this whatsoever. Get rid of all of that because I'm not about to get hit. After all, I have the hammer ability, so it should be no issue. Hey! Maybe coming through with the damage game though. Dodging that, dodging that, dodging that. Ooh, I see you! I see you, Kirby! No! Oh boy, no! You not know who you're messing with here? This is Kirby you're talking about! Don't you all of that, thank you. Not about to get hit by that. You got me messed up. No! Do you even know who you're messing with here, Grand Willy? This is Kirby you're talking about. Grammarly's almost down for the count. And... Yep, he's gone. Psst, come on, guys! Boom! Alright, takes care of that. Moving on to the next mini-boss. This next mini-boss is located in World 4-3 and is the only Hypernova mini-boss exclusive in this world in the same way like in World 1 where the Moline Brothers were exclusive in that world. 
So, let's go ahead and face against him. Yep, it's King Four Robber, the leader of all the Four Robbers. We're just gonna get rid of that. And of course, we have to face against him. Let's go get into the base. Just go ahead and hide in the clock. Go, go. Mr. Clock. I will take that. Thank you. Next is gonna hide in the paint. Oh, now I got him. I'll take that. Last of the piano. Crazy piano. Yep. You, you gone. You gone. Okay. That takes care of that. Now it's time to move on to the next mini boss. Okay, this next mini boss takes place in World 4 4. And is, of course, another mini boss that we have actually met before, but is back again. Yep, it's Blocky. I know I already met him back in the first episode, but that was his deluxe form. This is the actual deal himself, as you can see. So, nothing too big about him off, about him off the get-go, basically same as before, and, uh, yeah. No, not gonna let you crush me! I messed up with that bloggy. Oh, really? Let's play that game with me, eh? I'll see you. No! I'm not gonna let you crush me. I'm blocking that, thank you very much. Oh yeah, getting full power with this now. No, you don't know. What do you actually think I am, Blocky? I'm legit Kirby. What even is this game? Blocking, dodging that, thank you very much. Guarding that, thank you. Yeah, he's gone. Hurrah! Okay, take care of that. Moving on to the next mini boss. Okay, this next mini boss takes place in World 4 5. And of course, it's a rematch with the previous mini boss we fought, but it's back again for a rematch, of course. Yep, it's Flame Gobros! Bet you didn't expect he was gonna come back, eh? Well, he's back. And of course, this also means that we're gonna face him again in the same pattern like usual. So, yeah. Nothing too strange or, you know, weird here. Dodging those two, thank you! Of course, I do not. Dodging those. Thank you. No! Dodging that, thank you. Do you even know who I am, Flame Golf Do you even know who you're messing with here? Of course, dodging that. 
I'm completely out of his range, so there's no way I'm gonna get hit by that. Dodging all three of those! Stop Kirby at this point, though. That's the thing. Literally, nothing can stop Kirby at this point. Come on. Hey, damage game a point. And yeah, he's gone. Come on, guys. Boom. All right. Takes care of that. Move on to the next boss. All right. This next boss takes place in World 4-6, which is actually the world boss of this world. And of course, is a guy that we have already met before, but is back again for a rematch. So, let's go and confront him. Yep, it's this guy again. Coily Rattle, let's go. I know he's called Coily Rattler, but still, you get the point. A lot of damage, by the way. Don't do that, of course. Come on, you don't scare me. You don't scare me, Corley Rattle. You don't scare me at all. Darn it! I'm not getting hit by that anyways. I'm getting the hammer ability back, thank you. Ooh, kind of aimed out a little bit too early, but I still got him. And, oh, darn it, I thought I got him, ugh. Dodging that, thank you. Oh, really? You want to play that game with me, eh? I see you. Oh, okay, I'm dodging that. Oh, he tripped me! You son of a monkey! Get out of here! Yeah, you gone, son! Bye-bye! I will take that, thank you. Gladly. I will take that gladly. Don't expect it to be over just yet, even though done with all the mini bosses and bosses here there's still one more mini boss left to deal with let's take a look at what the last mini boss is okay this last and final mini boss is located in world 4-7 an extra level that can only be encountered after collecting all of the other sunstones in the previous stages and of course this is a rematch with a previous mini boss we fought but is much more difficult than the previous one Yep, it's Bonkers DX. He's back again and ready for another matchup. But you gotta have Hammer because I know what I'm doing with it most of the time. Hammer against Hammer up. Baby. 
He's not done yet. Phase two already. bosses and bosses in story mode, but there is still DDD tour we have left to talk about. Let's take a look at all the mini bosses and bosses there, shall we? I ought to say we should. Oh boy, we're not done with this yet. Even though we might be finished with, of course, story mode's version of Wild World, there is still DDD tour we have left to talk about. So, let's take a look at DDD tour's version of Wild World and take a look at all of its mini bosses and bosses there. With that being said and done, Let's get into it. Okay, so this first mini boss that we're gonna face against to begin this DDD adventure takes place technically in World 4-1. It is a familiar foe that we've met before, but it's much more powerful than the previous one. Yep, it's Hornhead DX again. It's this guy again. Luckily, this guy shouldn't be too bad because I have King DDD with me, so this shouldn't pose too many issues. Luckily, it shouldn't. Thankfully, I am not going to get hit by that. Not going to get hit by that. Hey, he did his block in a form, by the way. Completely missed, bro. Let's go, King DDD. <laughs> Nothing can compare to King DDD's power, man. Nothing. Completely dodging that. I'm trying to be slick with you, boy, eh? I see you. Yeah, there's no way Jorge Diaz can survive this next hit. There we go. Okay, takes care of that. Moving on to the next mini boss. This next, okay, so this next mini boss takes place in World 4 2, and I just realized I have to face my worst enemy again. Yep, it's Grammarly DX again. Oh man. Out of all the people in the world, it had to be this guy again. Well, I'm not about to deal with this nonsense regardless, okay? Or is them completely dodging that? Of course, I'm doing some damage with the um, shockwaves too. Of course, completely dodging that. Completely dodging that, not taking any damage this time. No, 
Oh, my boy, no! I'm taking any damage! Alright, this guy's almost down for the count. Right? Yeah, he's gone. Alright, takes care of that. Moving on to the next mini boss. Okay, this next mini boss technically takes place in World 4 4, and it is a rematch with a previous mini boss we fought, but is much harder than the previous one we fought. Yep, it's Blocky DX again. It's this guy again. Too bad I'm keen to though, because I know what I'm doing with it most of the time. Couldn't block in time. Hey, that's some good damage, by the way. Blog game's on point, man. Darn it, I thought I got him. Ugh. There we go. Alright, takes care of that. Onwards we going on to the next mini boss. Okay, this next mini boss takes place in World 4-5, and is of course another mini boss that we have been before, but is much more powerful than the last one we fought in the story mode. Yep, it's Flame Galbros DX. It's this guy again. Thankfully this guy shouldn't be too bad because I know most of his moves by now, so. Of course dodging that. Dodging that, thank you. Thor's dodging all of that. And yep, gone. May not have gone with the full swing, but still. Anyway, takes care of that. Onwards we go now to our last and final mini boss. 
Okay, this Lusty Funnel mini boss takes place in World 4-7 technically, and is the same mini boss we fought before in story mode, but is back for a rematch. And just like before, with the previous three levels I've mentioned in the extra levels, these aren't encountered until we get to World 6, but I recorded them in advance just to showcase what the mini bosses are regardless. Yep, it's Bonkers DX again. He's back again and ready for another matchup. Already on the phase two already. That quick, bro. Hey, he needed his hammer game on point. Yeah, he's gonna be gone after this next hit. I made a mistake. Bye-bye! Alright, takes care of that. Onward we go to our last and final boss. Alright guys, here we are in World 4-6 technically to finally wrap this episode up. It's time to face against our last and final boss now. Let's get into it and face against him. Even though we clearly already fought him before, but this is the more powerful version. Yep, it's that time again. Yep, it's this guy again. Holy Rattle DX. I know it's called Holy Rattler DX, but I don't care. You don't scare me. Hey, keep getting some horn with this blocking today. Mm -hmm. Completely dodging that, thank you. Mm -hmm. Worth dodging that. And you're gone. Alright guys, that's about everything I can cover for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the fourth episode of Season 8. It was a lot of fun making this episode. And uh, yeah, that covers it for all the bosses of Wild World. Tune in next time when we come back to now tackle through the fifth world of the game and tackle through those mini bosses and bosses in that world. But, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time when I come back for the next world, of course. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Until next time, bye.